I love how you speak in the book that we were just talking about, the book that you have about gold being fiction. And it's a really interesting concept. And I've often, even before um, reading it in your book, knowing that idea that even with diamonds, the whole idea of them being valuable is the fact that, you know, there is a lack of them or they hold them back on purpose so that they make them extremely valuable. I'd love to get your take on that. Well, so, yeah, I mean, the the basic idea of the book is that money is fiction, right? Yes. Money is a thing where everybody just gets together and without really realizing it, just kind of makes up a bunch of rules. And it's like, okay, this is what money is going to be. Yeah. And, you know, gold is an interesting case because like, obviously gold itself is not fiction. Gold is a real thing that is, you know, older than human beings and will exist after the last human being is gone. So gold itself is real. Uh, but the moneyness of gold is the made up part, right? Um, and yeah, diamonds similarly. I mean, I don't know the story that well, but but apparently diamonds in particular were sort of invented by by diamond people who, you know, got got people in the movies to give diamond rings as uh, uh, you know, as engagement rings to sort of create this idea and have done a clearly a very good job of of controlling both supply and demand. And if you can control supply and demand, that's pretty good. Yeah. Now, one thing that's interesting now with diamonds, and again, I'm not an expert on this, but my understanding is that um, synthetic diamonds have gotten better and better. And so that now they're quite hard to tell apart. You can get a really yeah. good synthetic diamond that, it, that looks quite a lot like a real diamond. And so that's an interesting thing to think about, right? Um, what what is that going to do to the value and will anybody care i don't know but it's a fun it's a fun mm. twist in an old story 